Can you see? Yes, we can see. Please okay. start. Welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon. Welcome to our Bangladesh Kurgan Fellow Group. Hope you are all in safe and staying at home with good health. At first, I will pay my respect to all corona fighters and always respect my teachers who made me an orthopedic surgeon as well as a reserve surgeon, especially my mentor, Professor Dr. Muhammad Mufakkarul Bari, and to my hospital director, Professor Dr. Muhammad Abdul Ghani Mullah, great patronizer of Elizarov surgery. Before starting my session, I just mentioned few words regarding Elizarov. Now it is established that Elizarov method or technique is the light board or jacket of an orthopedic surgeon. Only by this method, we can achieve fracture union, control infection, correction of deformity, correction of limb length discrepancy, and improve the bone quality. So we should discuss about this technique and its biomechanics. We have to learn it properly and meticulously, and its appropriate application also. For this reason, we think about this webinar session from very beginning, like ABC of Elizarum, and it's basic thing. We will try to share our own experiences also. Now, let us go to the session. Gabriel Abrahamovich Ilizarov. He is the inventor of Ilizarov method. We should always respect him because his invention opens the new era in orthopedic world. Basic Elizarov frame and its components. And this is the main uh, topics of our Elizarov fellow group. Uh, we will discuss about this uh, gradually. I am uh, Dr. Najmul Hudar Shetu, Assistant Professor of Orthosurgery, National Institute of Traumatology and Orthopedic Rehabilitation, NITO, that is situated in Dhaka, Bangladesh. It is the thousand bedded hospital. Uh, previously, I said Elizarov method. Why we choose it? Because it is the method by which we can achieve fracture union, control in bone infection, correction of deformity, correction of limb limb discrepancy, improve the bone quality. Yesterday, Dr. Arif already demonstrated the demonstrated his topics, main support components. I just review these topics very few slides with the very few slides that is half ring arches long connecting plates you can see the half rings you can see the arches different arches italian arch russian arch patric arch and upper femoral and pelvic arch that looks like banana and sometimes it is called banana arch long connecting plates you can see in the basket there is a long connecting plates and here you can see an x-ray the use of long connecting plates with the olive to translation of the long segment for the fibula uh, translate uh, fibula transport for the tubularization of the fibula you can see my topics today uh, today's topics auxiliary support components short straight connecting plates, curved plates, twisted plates, posts, male and female. There is a short, short straight connecting plates. You can see there is a lot of connecting plates, four holes, three holes, and two holes. Two holes plates is oblong in shape and nicely constructed. And this uh, usually this thickness of this plate usually five millimeter, wide of this plate fourteen millimeter, whole diameter seven millimeter, and two uh, these oblong plate is uh, lesser thickness in standard uh, connecting plates. 
there is uh, some use of straight plates. Uh, you can see the ob oblong plates used. And here is the uh, sm uh, smaller ring connected with the uh, larger ring adjusted with this uh, uh, short straight plate connected with the connecting rod, threaded rod. Here is you can see clearly. And here is also you can see. Uh, it is the, uh, nicely constructed and is a frame for the correction of the deformity of ankle and foot. Here you can see the use of straight plate. And there are multiple use of post, hinge, and other things you can see. And here is also a straight plate that is connected to the larger uh, ring, the smaller ring connected with the larger ring and adjusted with the straight plate. And here is the basket with a um, uh, femoral arch, straight plate, oblique support, you can see. And here is a, uh, another plate that is customized plate locally made. It is more thicker than the normal conventional plate and it has two holes at its you know, two ends uh, to connect the rods uh, at its two ends. There are carved plates and twisted plates you can see the cut plates, twisted plate, twisted over the 90, at 90 degree angle. Uh, there are a lot of uh, twisted plate, and um, one hole, two hole, etc. You can see here is the use of twisted plate. You can see nicely adjusted and used the twisted plate. And here is the carp plate. You can see a half ring uh, connected with the carp plate to enlarge the si uh, uh, size and um, uh, uh, adjusted uh, with the half ring so that it is uh, connected with the wires, sometimes rods, posts, etc. And here is also another uh, carp plate uh, connected with the two parallel uh, rods. Posts, two type of two types, male, female. These are usually 28, 38, 48 millimeter long with three, four holes, respectively. You can see the post, uh, male post, female post, one hole, two hole male post, two hole female post, and here is the another um, uh, one uh, female post connected with the threaded rod. Uh, made uh, make a um, uh, half part of the hinge and this is the hinge you can see and here is the four hole uh, uh, male post three hole male post two hole male post and also the female posts use of post these are auxiliary support element to fix wire rod plates at an angle to maintain support can be used as multiplanar hinges to lock the mobile joint to correct the angular deformity of the long bones also. Here you can see the use of multiple posts, hinge, lot of hinge, and also post adjusted with the uh, connecting rod and uh, adjusted to the rings uh, apart from the uh, ring. And here is the another uh, picture, constructed uh, frame for the correction of the ankle deformity. And nicely constructed, there are different parts uses, straight plate, post, and hinges also, you can see. And Elizabeth ring, there is multiple, multiple use of Elizabeth rings, you can see. Here are the half rings only, and posts, and hinges also. This, this is usually uh, used for soft tissue management of leg and ankle of a child due to trauma. Here, Elizabeth will help a lot. Increase the circulation, control infection, less chance, of, less chance to fail the skin graft, prevent deformity, post-traumatic equinous deformity.
here only the half rings. You can see the half ring. There is the half ring, and here is the half ring. Sorry for interruption. And another just I want to show another picture. 65 years old male, open fracture, proximal shaft of right tibia fibula. You can see a uh, patient came to me with this uh, external fixator with searing. And here's the X-ray, fracture, upper shaft of tibia fibula, and treated by Lizaro method. And is the old man, you can see, nicely constructed uh, frame, use a uh, here is the post and drop wire also, and also the thread, uh, telescopic rod also here. You can see. And lastly, after two months and after three and a half months after removal of the of ring, nicely united. Another female patient, 55 years old, one and a half years old, um, uh, non-union fracture shaft of uh, distal shaft of female and in treated with the Lizaro method. And here is the use of uh, Italian arts, half pins or shans, and uh, oblique support. Uh, the uh, olive also uh, uh, used here. The patient is uh, doing his physiotherapy. And after uh, three months, you can see the uh, bones is uniting and she is waiting for removal of Elizaro. And lastly, I want to say compliance of the patient will be excellent if it was properly and meticulously applied. You look, a very beautiful girl with the Elizaro ring is playing and jumping. And this picture is taken from Kurgan. And another picture, you can see a three-wheeler puller with the reserve of ring, and patient has no complaint. Uh, she is, he is doing his daily job. If, so uh, if the frame is constructed appropriately, there is no problem with the patient, and patient complaint is very good. This patient was done by Dr. Arif, you can see. And my mentor, Professor Muhammad Mufakar Bari, and in front of Ilizarov Center with the Kurgan Fellow. And Monsoon is coming. This is the beauty of Bangladesh. You can see. And lastly, thank you all and inviting you to uh, inviting you all to the next session. Hope you will be with us. Thank you. Arif, you can, uh, Arif, we cannot hear you. Yes. Just, just, Hello. Uh, thank you, uh, thank, Dr. Nazbul for your nice and brilliant presentation, especially your clinical experience sharing the slides and the X-rays that help uh, us a uh, lot for um, uh, making decision about the Elizarab and patient-friendly Elizarab technique from your corner. And, now I am asking everyone, uh, do you have any question? Please send me message <clears throat> in chat box or uh, you can hands up and I can unmute your uh, microphone. Then you can uh, communicate with us. Uh, uh, before uh, going to the question session, um, uh, I want to tell something that the uh, cyclone Afan is uh, approaching to the coastal area of Bangladesh. Uh, it is that, um, uh, number 10 uh, danger mark is hosted in the coastal area. So everyone please pray for our country so that this uh, um, cyclone uh, uh, will be a weaker one and there is no disaster in our coastal area. And if you have any question, uh, please hands up. Uh, then you can uh, question uh, directly to the speaker. And before the question session, I want to uh, just um, hand it over the microphone to my professor mentor, Professor Bari. Please pass some comments uh, about this session because uh, today we have lots of time. And thank you, Dr. Shetu, once again. Uh, he very time-oriented and um, uh, completed his lecture uh, in a 
very uh, good uh, arrangement of time. So now the Professor M. M. Bari, sir, please for some comments. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you. No. Thank you, Shetu. What is good? Thank you, sir. Explanation. Thank you, sir. Well said. Well said. So, and at the same time, the use of the auxiliary parts. How to use that? Why to use? Why to use? And which place to use? You have shown that one from your clinical uh, experiences and from your patients. And of course, uh, you could not mention anything regarding regarding the telescopic rods, auxiliary parts, bolts, nuts. You have shown that one. Uh, if you could say that one, that will be better. Okay. Otherwise, everything was good. Nicely said. Good explanation. And the uh, uh, picture was very good, very nice. And I think those who were looking at this, all this, they have taken some idea from your uh, lecture. And it was a good lecture regarding the auxiliary parts of the EZR of apparatus. And everybody should know it before applying any kind of EZR of surgery. And I always tell you, Professor EZR of and at the same time, Professor Shepso was always telling us that no surgeon is justified to do any laser surgery, simple or any complicated case. If he or he doesn't, she doesn't have any complicated idea regarding the technique and the particular the apparatus. If you don't have idea, you'll face a lot of problems in the operation theater when you change your mind what to do, what to do. If you don't have any apparatus, any extra parts, if you start your operation with very simple, uh, limited things, then you'll face a lot of problems and you'll not get satisfaction. And outcome of the result will be poor. So thank you very much for sharing your cases and presentation. Thanks to Arif and other Kurgan fellows and other Joes who have joined here to learn Elizarov and think yourself, you can apply in orthopedic surgery, in trauma surgery, even in Elizarov, not in orthopedic trauma, in urology, in gynae, in neurosurgery, everywhere. You should have to know the principles. And whenever you apply properly, then nobody will tell you that this is the cumbersome. Cumbersome, not for the patient, cumbersome for the surgeon. The surgeon who doesn't know how to apply and the principles of the Elizarov and the philosophy of the Elizarov. This is the main thing. Elizarov is a very big thing. Not that they're putting the word, this is the Elizarov. It's a very big thing. And you can solve 85 to 90% of the trauma and orthopedic problems with this single technique. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You continue uh, then. Question. Uh, and now question the, the question session. And uh, one thing I uh, for your inform current information, sir, uh, we have uh, divided the auxiliary part uh, in the two uh, two part of the lecture. The next part uh, of the yes, auxiliary yes, part yes, that okay, that will include the telescoping rods and other things, and it uh, will be delivered by me on tomorrow. And it will be the last session before Eid. Uh, for from our um, Kurgan uh, basic Elizabeth session group, uh, the next session after the Eid it will be 27th of this month, and hope, hopefully um, you all will be with us, stay connected and give the opinion. Uh, so far I, I have not seen anyone uh, raising his hands, uh, so I just randomly pick some foreign uh, foreign delegates or participant. Uh, for your kind opinion, please, or just connected with the Bangladeshi doctors, especially to me, doctor, and the other Kurgan fellows, and Professor Bari. And now I am just unmuting the microphone. Uh, I have seen here the Dr. Rajesh uh, Likhi. Um, maybe he, he is from India. Uh, just uh, please, sir, uh, can you, if you uh, can hear me, just um, pass up comments about this session, sir. Uh, sir, thank you, sir. I am from Nepal. Oh, sorry, uh, it was sorry. a very good session. <laughs> <From Nepal. laughs> sir. <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, for Professor Bari also. I'm very grateful. Thank you, sir. Uh, Rajesh, I welcome you, welcome you uh, to, this, uh, to this session. And please stay connected. 
बिकॉज आवर मोटो इज दैट वी आर वी आर वर्किंग इन अ वेरी बेसिक लेवल so that the, those who are beginner those who want to build a career in elizarab so have some sure. knowledge and it is it will be a good platform for future knowledge and uh, communications between the uh, orthopedic surgeons uh, so yes, stay connected and do you have any question you, uh, do you do you have any question sir sir not at the moment i'm with the hangar sir thank you okay, sir okay 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 sir okay now i am uh, picking uh, Uh, uh another one uh, uh please um uh, uh, uh doctor um edwin uh, can you hear me doctor edwin can you hear me yes i can hear i can hear you yes sir uh, you, uh, you can communicate with the speaker and my professor bari sir and with me and please pass some comments about the session if you have any advice regarding our session and how can we improve uh, because we have some uh, technical issue also uh, please uh, pass some comments sir thank you very much uh, dr arif i am uh, very glad to be associated with this uh, webinar by the bangladesh uh, group Uh, indeed the our nigerian uh, 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 counterparts in nigeria here brought this uh, uh, the, the brought the bangladesh uh, program to our notice and uh, uh, those of us who are uh, just beginning to express interest in uh, in illa uh, found it very interesting so we i am glad that i am part of this uh, Uh, initial lectures although i came in late for this particular one but uh i i know that uh, uh I, from what i saw it i mean it's wonderful and uh, our group in this country in our country who have been who have pioneered elizarov in our country they have shown us some things like this and uh, in fact it's uh, very exciting so that is why uh, some of us are getting interested in uh, in a disabled and we want to uh, we wish that uh, the bangladesh group will offer us a very good hand of fellowship to help to strengthen the lizard of practice in nigeria thank you very much uh, definitely sir thank you. Uh, you are uh, welcome um, here and i want to convey a message to your uh, nigerian colleagues that uh, please uh, um, uh, many nigerian doctors are added with me in whatsapp Uh, they are very kind every time i send them messages uh, they just reply me with thanks and always very generous to reply me and i am very thankful to the nigerian people for their uh, yes. kindness and uh, now uh, i am just uh, searching any another uh, foreign uh, participant uh, in my list uh, you can communicate with uh, me uh, uh, another from the chinidam uh, ite uh uh if i am right uh can you hear sorry can, can, can you hear me sir i hear you arif yes sir uh, sir uh, thank uh, you please, very much uh, give some advice that how can we improve our sessions because it's a very long session it will be up to the um, uh, 26th of june and there are many more yeah. things to come and very interesting and um, Uh, especially the kurgan diaries and other things will come on the later on so sir please uh, pass some comments about our session sir well i i have to commend you guys for putting up this lecture series uh, especially the fact that you are using a bottom top approach starting from the basics and taking it higher making people to understand the biology and the principles eventually in the later lectures to come it's very basic what you're doing and it's quite fundamental and necessary in the sense that whoever wants to practice elizarov should know the basic principles should know the assembly of instruments he or she is going to deploy during the procedure i think so far you've communicated very well to the participants and to some of us who are listening in it's not a new terrain because some of us also do elizarov 
techniques in our various practices. And just like my senior colleague Edwin said, um, we also have a lower limb reconstruction society of Nigeria. And from time to time, we run courses. We've not been able to run courses this year because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, last year and the year before, we have done courses on both basic and advanced reconstruction. Thank you very much. You guys are doing a great job. And I, I must say that you, you keep it running. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Please Thank stay connected with us. And uh, now I am uh, uh, choosing uh, to some of the audience from my country, uh, uh, Jamil Jaidur Rahim. He is a very um, uh, old and good friend to me. And uh, uh, Jamil, sir, can you hear me? Uh, Jamil, sir, can you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, I can I can hear you. Yes, sir. Please uh, pass some comments about the session, sir. Yes, it's a very uh, nice and very precise uh, webinar. I think every Elizabeth fellow will be benefited from this webinar. I wish your best luck, and it should be continued. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And uh, I am just uh, handing over the microphone to Shohi Diakub, sir, uh, because uh, I, when I am in the uh, controlling panel, uh, I have seen that uh, Shohi Diakub, sir, have very difficulties in connecting frequent uh, by uh, several number of uh, times he hit uh, for approach. Uh, Shohi Diakub, sir, can you hear me, sir? Shohi Diakub, sir, can you hear me? Hello, uh, yeah, Shohi Diakub, sir, can you hear me? Okay, um, I think uh, uh, we we'll lost the connection. And now I am just, uh, because we are um, at the end of the session, because we want to uh, finish this session in uh, just uh, 40 minutes today, because Dr. Uh, Nazmul Hodashedu do a tremendous job that he uh, completed all the things within uh, time. And now I am uh, switching one of our Kurgan fellow, Dr. G. A. Munir. Uh, I am unmuting him. Please pass some comments and your feelings about this session, because we have some couple of minutes. Dr. Munir, can you hear me? Uh, thank you, Dr. Arif. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. Yes. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Barisar, and all the Kurban fellows. Uh, I, uh, I am hearing the, uh, I am following the webinar from the first day. Uh, for the uh, current and the electricity, I, am, uh, I have some disturbance in uh, uh, following the comments and uh, the lecture today, uh, it is uh, very useful for us, and uh, we uh, hope then we will continue the uh, session nicely. Thank you, thank you all. Okay, uh, okay. I am just uh, at the end of the session now. Uh, I will uh, hand it over the microphone to my professor, just uh, uh, saying uh, goodbye to all. And before that, I am uh, there is an announcement for the other Kulgar fellow and Professor Barisar that after this session, we want to uh, have a video chat uh, in this Zoom platform for 10 minutes for some necessary advice and necessary meeting. So please stay connected. And all the Kulgar fellow, don't be disconnected. And now I am handing over the um, speaker to uh, my microphone to mm. Professor Barisar and please end the session. And before that, uh, one thing that tomorrow, the same time, same session, and the last session before Eid uh, will be uh, presented by me, the other component of auxiliary supports. So now, the Professor Barisar. Thank you very much for a good job. Thanks all those who have joined here. And especially thanks goes to you and al Kurgan fellows and the foreigners, those who have given their advice for this. Of course, this kind of session 
especially the webinar in this pandemic situation is very good for the learners, for everyone. Those who are the expert, they can also revise their every teaching, every time, all the time. And hopefully for the last three sessions, everything was good. And I hope advice. coming days, the program will be good. And my advice is to all the uh, participants, please continue your support all the time. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Okay, sir. Now I am ending the session. And please, the good okay. fellow, please stay connected on the next session. Okay, thank you. Thank you all.